Elon talks about battery capacity growth at the Gigafactory. I'm um, saying we're pretty good at it. Um, battery day in April. And he's like, we're super deep on cells, modules. We've gone in batteries. We've gone down the rabbit hole. Um, and then Drew chimes in with a very interesting comment saying we have a decade of experience, not just of what a cell should be, but how to integrate it into a vehicle. And I think this is key because this is what nobody else has. This Tesla pioneered this approach of a bazillion little batteries, 4,000 of them or 8,000 of them, whatever, in a massive battery pack, connecting them all together, lithium ion cells. Previously never been done before um, sort of electric vehicle technology that they invented. They pioneered. And so when you talk about who has an advantage about this, it's totally Tesla. Everyone else is a decade or more behind on figuring out how to do this uh, technology, which requires a tremendous amount of software battery management system optimization for the battery when managing all of these micro cells at the same time. So once again, software expertise that other automakers don't have. And then you have to optimize that for cold weather conditions, for how people charge on superchargers, fast chargers versus home chargers, um, versus all sorts of weather, versus all sorts of driving types. And all of that micro optimization adds up to huge differences in the long-term longevity of the battery and performance and range. And those are things that you can't really get other than having experience and having built and sold a million electric vehicles, which only Tesla has. And so I thought that was a really key insight by Drew about it's not just like on paper designing cells where Tesla's ahead, it's actually implementing them in vehicles in the real world, seeing how they work. And I've come to the conclusion that Tesla, um, it's not is actually the foremost at, in battery research in the world. Like I used to think it was like, oh, Shirley Meng, John Goodenough, Maxwell, like all these other people and academics are really at the forefront of battery research. And they are in their own ways, in their own niches. But in terms of actually commercializing these breakthroughs, bringing these technologies to market, actually being a thought leader in the space, I think Tesla probably has the world's best talent in terms of battery technology. Um, they're going to be the furthest ahead in pushing these innovations and bringing them to market. They are really the R&D generation think tank powerhouse when you think about batteries. Um, and that just is the truth. And they're going to talk about all that in April at the Battery Investor Day. Last question is about Maxwell's DBE technology. Asks about if it is about capacitors or dry electrodes, which is ironic because in the third row interview that just came out, Elon says that it's not about ultra capacitors. It's all about DBE. Although in this question, I don't know if he was answering specifically, but he kind of says ultra caps might be a piece of it. I don't know if I heard that right. But the point is, it's all about the DBE, or I think that's the biggest reason they bought Maxwell, dry battery electrodes, new way to produce batteries cheaper without drying ovens, which means they can produce a lot more batteries a lot faster for a much cheaper cost, which fits into that whole battery investor day scaling to a terawatt hour production thing. And um, then he even add, and he even says like battery day will blow people's minds and it blows my mind and I know it. So it's even more hype than battery day than I already was, if that's possible. But, um, and then at the end he goes, some of the retail investors have put together a lot of pieces of the puzzle. They have most of the insight. And so another nod to the retail investors, the people on YouTube who are doing the work to figure out what the Maxwell acquisition meant, um, why they're doing it, what Tesla's on the cusp of announcing. So to hear him say that once again, the retail investors are ahead of the curve there, just, it makes me so, so pumped and like, kind of, I feel like validates what I've been saying on the channel. I made a gazillion videos about Maxwell. I know people at Tesla watch my videos. I don't know if Elon does, but Elon, Drew, I know they're scheming on something. And for them to give a shout out to these communities, all the Tesla tubers is, I don't know, it just made me feel so awesome and so good and so excited and validating all the hard work that we're doing and all this crazy research that I always think is crazy, but apparently, I don't know. I'm just so, so pumped about that uh, to hear Elon several times mention how that the retail analysts and little investors, the little guys, mostly that because of the internet and the power of the crowdsourcing of information, think about, you know, just me personally, like I get so many emails, so much information, so much amazing stuff from you guys watching the show about what Tesla's working on, about what your theories are, um, and about connecting the dots. I've called up so many random people at 2 a.m. in the morning scheming on this that it's just amazing to hear on the conference call Elon validate that edge of research. And I don't know if he's referring to hyperchange or any of which Tesla blog, but so, so cool. And I think um, I have a video that I'm about to drop about Maxwell that I think is going to is gonna push even more in this direction. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already. Micro plug.